Uh, coach, just some opening comments about the game. Um, Lehigh early in the contest, um, you know, had the tempo go, and then you guys got it going in the third. What were some of the things maybe you said in the locker room? Uh, at halftime, you know, I think it was really rebounding. Um, defense and rebounding was not great in the first half. Um, I felt like that kept them in the game. So I think they made a concerted effort in the second half, and you could see the rebounding numbers changed a little bit in the second half. So, And, and we started to get some steals, and we got uh, a couple good rotations and things like that. So I was really proud of how we played defense uh, there in the second part of the game. But first half, it was probably fun to watch because it was a lot of scoring happening. Um, both teams are real capable of putting the ball in the basket, so that was nice. But again you know we, we've we've kind of prided ourselves on our on our defense and so we needed to step up we talked about this monday after the lafayette game about getting rebounds lafayette uh, lehigh gets 11 offensive rebounds what were some of the things though as you get ready for bucknell you'll preach about that rebounding uh, bucknell is a terrific rebounding team and we all know that i mean my, my team knows that my staff knows that um, if we don't box out it's going to be a long day for us um, so that and i think just being able to individually guard their players is, is really important because the more you force help the more they can they you have to rotate and then they they make threes so we have to do a better job of that Trying to go back to the NCAA tournament for the second straight year. How special would that be? I mean, I guess it's never been done here, so that would be pretty awesome, um, especially with graduating six seniors uh, from last year's team um, and just having five freshmen trying to work their butts off right now. Um, I'm so proud of them in practice. Even if they don't get in the games, they're really pushing the starters in practice, and I just love their energy. So uh, it would be really special if we could get back there. Three timeouts in a row late in the contest. What was this defensively that you saw from Lehigh that really maybe forced those timeouts? I know it would, Kay Lou looked at you at one point and you kind of said to take it. Well, I was just telling them, you know, we're running our, our stack sideline out of bounds play. And they did a good job of guarding it, so we needed to change something. I thought Kalu could have gotten the ball in a couple times and just kind of hesitated a little bit, and I get it. I mean, you don't want the steal to happen. So then we called the timeouts, but uh, eventually we got the ball in and, and, and got to the, to the free throw line. With this possibly being the last home game, you have a bunch of seniors who have battled throughout the years. What does it mean to you to have coached them in possibly their last game here? Oh, gosh, I haven't really thought about it that way. I, I try not to think about it, honestly, Nick. Um, it makes me sad to think that they're not going to be here next year. They've given this program so much. Um, on and off the court, they're leaders, um, they're great role models, and they're awesome basketball players. And, you know, they, they're our second recruiting class. So we needed them to be good for us for, to stabilize the program a little bit. And they've been able to do that, and they've also taught the younger kids how to play the game. 32 and four in your last uh, 34 home games, or 32 and two in your last 34 home games. What is it about Bender and just being back here in American that obviously is a recipe for success? Well, you talk about protecting your home court all the time, so I think that's part of it. But you know, we're shooting here every day, we practice in here every day. Um, you know that if you want to be at the top of the league, you got to win your home games. That's really important, and then you hope you get at least half of the uh, road games under your belt. But um, I just think they're comfortable here. Uh, the crowd obviously helps them, you know, cheering and stuff. And you know, when when you've got the crowd behind you and you feel good about the gym, you know, good things happen. Sunday Bucknell, what are some of the things going through your mind right now as you need to start preparing for them quickly? Yeah, I got to go home and watch some film. That's my first thought. Um, you know, when I think back to last time we played them, it was close, obviously, um, down the stretch and we lost and stuff. But um, we, we, we talked about making free throws because I just felt like that. We, I think we missed five. And again, in a tight game, every, every shot matters. Um, like I said earlier, the individual defense of part is, is really important. And they, you know, they, they rebound. So if we don't rebound, we're in trouble.